hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video i actually don't know very well what i'm gonna be talking about but because right now i'm in my car and i am just very hungry i just i just came out of an appointment a doctor's appointment and i've got a lot to catch up with catch up with you guys by this time now i have filmed the video telling people that i'm pregnant with my second child and it's a boy which we're very excited as well it's gonna be a house full of boys <laughs> Full of madness. I'm just filming right now because I'm feeling very low. And yes, I moved house and the house is great. But let me explain to you guys why I'm feeling like this. So I feel like I'm having some sort of, I don't know if it's pregnancy depression. I don't know what is it, but I'm very emotional. And not that long ago, my cousin has told me, my partner, you know, that she has decided to move back to Portugal. And obviously like she has to do what's best for her. And I'm happy that she's happy. But when she told me the news, I was absolutely heartbroken, like in a selfish way. Because now I'm going to be completely alone. Obviously, I have my partner, uh, don't get me wrong. But it's just different. Like he, he still has some, you know, some company at work. I don't know. I just feel very sad <laughs> in that way. And even though I love where our new home, it's still, you know, it's it's a very... It's a very calm area, very nice, a lot of nature, don't get me wrong, but um, you know, there's not much to do. <laughs> and this is the thing I miss about where we were living in Surbiton. And you know, I, I actually like when we had to move, I didn't want to move. I had we just had no choice because of um, the circumstances of the things that were happening around us. I'm just sad. And after this kid is born, I don't know how it's going to be because I I have decided, I don't know if you guys watched my previous video, but I have decided that I'm giving birth the second baby in Portugal because I'm not going through what I went through with my first um, birth, I just want. So that's something for me to be, look forward, but also at the same time, it's like I can never have the best of both worlds. I'm going to be quite a long time in Portugal with Simon. Basically, I'm, I'm going to be traveling next month to Portugal and stay there until this baby is born um, because uh, I'm not gonna come back again until it's born because we want to avoid me flying too much uh, while pregnant because it can potentially be quite dangerous so that's why I'm going now and staying there on the other hand I'm gonna be a couple months away from Carlos and that just like is hitting me quite a lot so it's kind of like yeah I'm gonna be surrounded with my friends and family from there but at the same time like I'm away from Carlos and Morena so it's like I can never have everyone together so i'm just very emotional about that i don't know if it's silly or not that's how i feel and then once i'm back with the both babies i'm just scared of my postpartum depression being so bad like the last one and just feeling incredibly lonely and you know, making some stupid decision and i don't want to do that but my cousin was telling me why she wants to go back to portugal and i was like all those reasons like i feel them but there's a big difference between oh my god between me and her she has a base there like she has her own place, um, paid and everything, so it's like she was going to be fine, doesn't matter what job she gets, she will be fine. Uh, us, on the other hand, we don't have our own house or anything like that, so we wouldn't be okay at all. And so we are tired of this, we are tired of like living in rentals and then something happens and we have to move out. <laughs> and with kids it sucks and it's so much harder. If I could go back to Portugal, basically if I had investments there and I would know that financially I would be okay. I would probably go back because I'm a bit tired of bad weather and the fact that I'm a, I'm not even the area I loved living in in Greater London. It's like right now I honestly where we live now we live in Kenworth. The house is amazing. Don't get me wrong, it's really nice. It is by far the nicest place I've ever I ever lived um, in in England. But it's just you know to me the area it's beautiful, but it's just I need a bit of life. <laughs> you know I didn't have that many friends in London. Don't get me wrong, but but I had friends. <laughs> I had my cousin. And she's living in like what well, she's living in a couple of days literally to go back to portugal yes when i go back to portugal i can always see her that's amazing but it was different i could always i could always see her here yeah so now i feel like i was telling carlos like there's nothing really stopping us from you know holding us back here so if one day carlos has like a major promotion for example in london or way to london i'll be like let's go for it <laughs> like Let's go. I need I need a bit more life. <laughs> I'm the kind of person that I love. Well, I love living in a calm place, but close enough of like 
full-on nature and close enough of um, madness especially because of my area dancing singing and acting so I love being on stage and things like that yeah there are theaters here but it's there's not much work no right now I'm pregnant so I can't even think about that but it gets really lonely it gets really lonely here especially where I live now so at least in London there's so many people I eventually would meet someone and in London sometimes we would go dancing me and Carlos and even here sometimes Carlos goes dancing but we like to go uh, kizomba dancing and things like that and honestly don't get me wrong well you can get me wrong I don't care <laughs> to be honest in this point but Carlos sometimes obviously we we talk to each other but sometimes he goes out to Birmingham to go and dance and he's so basically if we don't have anyone to take care of Simon which is basically almost all the time it's either one of us it's like one says at home the other one goes somewhere but i don't feel safe going to birmingham at night alone at all so it's kind of so it's like yeah i just don't go and i hate that there's not much of what we enjoy to do here except you know hikes and things like that like that now there's finally sun like sorry guys for the lighting of this video but i'm in the car this is this is a tri the tripod for the car it just sucks to be away from everyone it really sucks and i'm terrible at making new making and making new friendships and maintaining them i'm just i just learned that i suck at it i don't know what to say to people i don't know what to text i just get so freaking anxious i just don't know what to do i'm just having like this existential crisis many times crying thinking like would my kids be proud of me when they grow up and see me like this like am i giving them the best life they could have i'm having the mozzarella dippers in the sauce and the sauce is a bit spicy but i i'm enjoying it guys i'm having such weird cravings not weird like really strange but i mean things i would never eat in my normal day-to-day -day life i've been craving them while pregnant with this baby with simon i couldn't tolerate any smells like anything this one i have a lot more appetite and i didn't i did have a bit of nausea but not like simon like not at all i can tolerate the smell of fish and seafood now like i don't really want to i don't want to eat it but if someone is eating next to me, I'll be like, yeah, whatever. With Simon, I'll be like, get that crap away from me or we'll throw up. So usually what I get at, very random, what I get at McDonald's is the McVegan, McVeggie, Mc, no, McVegan, Mc, 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 McVegan meal large. In the UK, I ask the drink to be larger ways is with no ice but in Portugal, I always ask for Compal, which is the best juice ever. Obviously with chef. And then I usually ask for whatever they have like it's either mozzarella dippers or they have the um, chili cheese bites you know i always ask for that um but today i didn't ask for the um, i asked basically for the dippers for the drink and the chips i didn't want the the bugger oh, yeah guys i'm feeling feel like i need sun <laughs> i need heat and i need to be with people in a couple of days i'm having my i'm having my friend ayami coming to visit me for a couple of days is nice then i'm gonna try to see my my cousin tomorrow and basically try to see her as many times as before before she leaves for good because i'm gonna be extremely upset today while i was in the kitchen cooking i suddenly had this realization that she's very close to leaving and i just burst out in tears again <laughs> my phone just got overheated oh yeah i need to head back home um to my family but yeah i just had like a random i, I just need to speak even if it's just with the camera and hopefully someone out there will go through the same as me and might comfort me and vice versa <laughs> we can comfort each other i don't know but yeah guys now i just wanted i just needed to talk basically so sorry if you didn't like this video <laughs> probably very boring but yeah this is how i'm feeling right now i'm just feeling very down <laughs> hey guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video bye guys Thank <laughs> you.